Welcome to Beer Barbecue Baseball. I'm here with the seventh edition of the Farmhouse and Saison project. Um, been a couple weeks since I've done one. Um, so I went out and bought another whole slew of them. So again, I'm doing this project to uh, learn more about the beers. Uh, started really kind of reading up on it. Um, this particular one is it's called Small Ball. And it was brewed uh, by Kane, or I'm sorry, Crane Brewing Company, 2018 Small Ball Saison. It's got uh, like an origami of a baseball. Pretty cool. Again, this company is out of Raytown, Missouri, which is a suburb of Kansas City. Read a little bit to you on the back of the bottle. Uh, greatness is a is as much in the small details as in the big ones. Take a classic size on, add some amazing American aroma hops, then bottle condition with the wild yeast, Brettanomyces. When all these play to get come together, when all these plays come together, they melt into a dry, tropical, and funky delight. Like spending a summer night at the ballpark, we hope you find this beer to be truly spectacular. Uh, the label art is by. I want to say it's Tony Quinn and Jason Look. So, again, this was the 2018 bottle, it says. Um, it's dry hop Belgian style ale, bottle condition with Brettanomyces, uh, which is a wild yeast. Um, it can affect the flavor of the beer in a good way or a bad way. So, um, the aromas on these beers can be kind of really funky. Uh, I've had some that smell like feet, uh, just like a wet dampness. So, if you get one of these type of beers, don't let don't let the aroma fool you. Um, some of these I've had have been spectacular. Some have just been okay. Uh, but this one I have high hopes for. Um, I bought this this bottle for five ninety nine, which. I don't normally spend that much on a bottle of beer, but I've got high hopes for it because the other one I had from this brewery was fantastic. So I thought, what the heck, I may as well try it. So the cap is plain black. Oh, lots of smoke. Look at that. Otherwise known as water vapor. Still rolling out of there. Wow, it's fantastic. Let's get into the glass. And again, the farmhouse style ales and the, I'm going to tell you about this while the head goes down a little bit, but um, these are brewed. Um, it originally came from, um, I don't remember the region in Belgium, um, well, Nonia, I believe is what it's called. Um, they started brewing these beers in the winter months, um, so they would have beers to drink that would quench their thirst in the summer months. So the word Saison actually means season, um, so they would farm all through the summer months and then they would brew the Saison farmhouse ales in the uh, in the winter months, and then they would be ready to drink by the time the hot weather came. So, um, nice khaki looking color head, big bubbles. Not sure if you can see that, uh, but it's pretty carbonated. It's got a nice golden color. Got a lot of spice notes. This one doesn't really smell funky at all. Uh, it does say using a stem glassware. That's what I'm using. I'm gonna say it's coriander that I'm getting on the nose. A little bit of citrus. Hmm. It smells good. I'm hoping for five ninety nine a bottle that it it's it is good. So let's give it a shot.
Okay. Um, kind of tastes like a wine. I'm not a wine guy. Um, but I'm going to say maybe like a Zinfandel or something. Kind of fruity. Man, it definitely is like a wine. My wife would love this beer, I'm sure. Kind of dry in the back of the tongue and on the roof of the mouth. This video might go on a little longer than I normally like, but hang in here with me. I want to get some good flavors and aromas on this beer, and it might take a little bit for it to warm up and uh, develop a different, a different taste here. So let me take another glance and see what the bottle says. Trying to see if maybe there's a, a best buy. Um, I'm not sure if these are best to age, um, simply because you know they're spiral condition, so you know you should be able to keep it. Uh, yeah, I don't see any kind of aged aging on it. Um, and this bottle is a 12.7 ounce bottle. So that's kind of an odd, it's kind of beveled. You can see it kind of bevels out and comes back down. So again, I love the bottle, big baseball fan. So it's just pretty cool. Let this kind of warm up just for a minute here. Still getting the same type of notes for the aroma, citrusy, some spice notes. Man, I wish my wife was here so she could try this. This is borderline champagne White Zinfandel type, type of uh, flavors is what I'm getting. Um, it's good. It's not bad. Um, would I go out and pay $5.99 for this again? Absolutely not. However, I would purchase this again if it were cheaper. Um, I did do the uh, Crane Brewing um, Farmhouse IPA which was phenomenal. You'll have to check that video out. Um, that's a little another longer video, so hang in there. It's about 10 minutes. Um, this one, I think, is not quite as good as that, and I paid $2.99 for that bottle. Um, but again, it's good. I would definitely try it if you get a chance. Don't back away from it. I used to put this style of beer in my mouth and be like, oh gosh, no way, can't drink that. Um, but I'm giving it a chance, excuse me, as I throw up on myself here. Um, you know, I think you guys should too, at least try it once. You know, if you don't like it, then don't drink it again, but give it a try. Um, the colors actually look like they're, you can't tell on my side, on your side, but the color looks like it's changing. Maybe this has some yeast still in it, floating around in there. And that's why it's a little darker. Maybe I'm gonna get some chunks here as I get closer to the bottom. It is definitely getting... Whoa, yeah, that looks... Looks like we're gonna get some, oh, wow. The, you don't know if you can tell, but that drip is was a lot thicker and it's, it definitely produced 
some stuff down here. You can see that in the color now it is darker. You're seeing different stuff here. Um, it almost turned into like a pineapple juice. Um, pretty crazy. I guess that's all the yeast that's still, you know, bouncing around in there and creating uh, new flavors for this beer. So, pretty neat. Oh, it is definitely a lot darker. Let's get a, another sip on this. Hang in here with me. Wow. Totally different. It's amazing. It is almost citrusy now. Like, I don't get any of the wine anymore. And that's why I'm liking these beers because you can get something different from beginning to end. Um, it's pretty pretty crazy. I'm not going to pretend to be a chemist or um, you know keep up with the periodic table here, but I think it's phenomenal. You, you know you can open it and it tastes like a wine or maybe even a champagne. And now I'm getting some citrus notes. It's kind of a little more juicier. It's good. It's really good. And I'm not talking juicy like a, a New England IPA. Just a more, it's very more subtle. Um, before it was kind of more bitter. You had the dryness on the, on the tongue like you would with a wine. Um, you still get that a little bit, but it's not as intense. So, pretty cool. Um, I'm going to give this a four. Um, so I'm going to finish enjoying the rest of this beer. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, check out some more videos I have coming up here again. This is number seven of the farmhouse Saison project. Probably be doing eight, nine, and maybe 10 again tonight. Um, so we'll see. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel and I will talk at y'all next time.